Hello my beautiful MKL fam and welcome back to another episode and if this is your first time watching my name is Melanie Kate Love and I make videos every Monday helping you to heal that emotional pain and speaking of emotional pain oh my gosh my one-on-one -on -one online coaching program is about to launch very very shortly the program begins just after the new moon which we'll talk more about later so i have about three or four days left to take strategy sessions so if you're really serious about healing your pain and using the energies with this eclipse season that we're about to talk about soon which is going to set the foundations for you for the next six months then please go and check out my free exclusive training i can't recommend it highly enough in that i talk about you know how i've healed my own childhood traumas how i've made peace with that how i was able to heal how i was able to um reprogram my subconscious rebalance my energy centers and reconnect my body mind and soul there's a lot involved, so please make sure you check it out because I would love to hear from you and this is a very small window of time. If you're on my mailing list and you already would have been notified about this before this video went out to let you know that, you know, applications are closing very, very shortly. And yeah, so with that in mind, let's get into today's reading. If you're new, this is just a general reading, so just take from this what feels best for you. So this is going to be the week from December the 31st to January the 6th. How crazy. Oh my gosh. Happy New Year, guys. By the time you're watching this, Happy New Year. Oh my goodness. All right. There's going to be a lot. Um, I feel like I want to focus more on the eclipse, but considering the eclipse is only coming into halfway through our Sunday well, in Australia, um, for most of you, you'll still be asleep. So... We'll see what happens. Maybe next week is going to be an extra long video. I'm just going to work with the energies and see what happens. And let's just get started. Okay, so we're going through oh, three phases of the moon this week. So Monday and Tuesday, we're still con uh, continuing on with, let me just check my notes, the last quarter. This is when you breathe with ease and give back from a place of love because last week when we're in the disseminating moon which is the receiving phase you would have received lots of abundance this could be financial this could be in terms of friendships this could be property this could be christmas presents whatever that is to you you would have received a lot so this is an opportunity for you to balance that energy and to give back bake someone some goods invite someone over for a cup of tea i don't know pay for somebody's coffee ahead like when you're going to order one pay for someone after it's like give it um what do you call that i can't remember what the word is but i'm sure you'll tell me in the comments um yeah just do something that makes you feel good giving is amazing and it's so liberating so please focus on that for monday and tuesday then wednesday to saturday da, 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 is the balsamic moon this is when you take time off social media you disconnect you find yourself in mother nature however that looks like for you no matter where you are in the world or if it's snowing or it's flipping hot and you have the air conditioning on um so your affirmation is i reflect with gratitude and take time to rest you know people always wait to the end of the year to be like oh i'm so grateful for this this and this it's that uh, uh, uh. when you follow the phases of the moon we do this 12 times a year which is amazing, which is crazy how this is all coinciding with <laughs> New Year's Eve um, and New Year's Day. Um, so that's amazing. It's crazy how this is all linked together. Okay, so Wednesday to Saturday, I want you to disappear off social media. I won't be posting. I won't be responding to emails. Um, I'm going to be taking time to rest. I don't think it's going to be how I usually rest because I usually go camping, but Peter and I have sold everything because we're moving. I'll tell you more about that next year. Oh, I mean, this is next year. I'll tell you more about that in February because that's when the move happens. Um, yeah. Then on Sunday, we have the partial solar eclipse, new moon in 15 degrees of Capricorn. Now, depending on where Capricorn falls in your astro um, astrological chart, um, you may need to check out some astrology videos. So I'll link 
my fave um, below. One will be from Astrolada and then the other one will be from Wonder Girl Astrology. Astrolada, I, I just watched her latest one. It's friggin' amazing. Um, her video is about 45 minutes long, but you can just click to the timestamp which works for you. Um, please check that out so you can work out where is this eclipse going to happen. You guys know that, um, when was it? Not the, the last eclipse, the one before, um, Peter and I got engaged. Um, so it's, it's full on. But if you haven't been doing the work, there's going to be some divine interventions that are not going to be pretty. Whatever comes up, just know, like some astrologers call it like the hand of God. I call it like the divine intervention. It's like taking you off one train track and moving you onto another one that is in alignment with your soul purpose, your soul mission, the reason why you're here on this earth. So go with it. Don't be resistant to change. When it comes up, say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What do I need to know? What do I need to learn from this to move forward? Don't be resistant to it because things are going to get crazy. Just go with the flow um, and be really mindful of your self-love practices during that time. So yeah, that's just happening on Sunday. So check the times on the screen right now. So if you're in LA, this is going to be your Saturday at 5.28 p.m. New York, this is 8.28 p.m. London, 1.28 a.m. If you're in New Delhi, this is going to be on your Sunday at 6.58 a.m. Brisbane, 11.28 a.m. And Auckland, 2.28 p.m. So be very mindful of those changes. Your intention, your affirmation for this time is I reset my intentions and feel the emotions associated with it. If you want more help, please check out Law of Attraction Series 2 on my channel um, or I'll just link it in one of the cards for you because that's where I teach you how to do that. Or you can go back to any of my live streams for um, the new moon when I talk you through how you do that. Um, yeah, so with that nine minute introduction, <laughs> let's get on to the week. <clears throat> I feel like my voice feels funny today. <clears throat> what does this mean? Speaking up for yourself? I've been singing all morning, so I've like <clears throat> opened my throat chakra so I can give you the right messages, but I find it's like my throat is like, <clears throat> I don't feel like my airways are open fully. Anyways, let's see what we need to know, okay? <laughs> all right, hold tight. So, Monday, angels. What do my MKL fam need to know for Monday, please? One card for Monday for the last quarter. Do they need to know? Thank you. Ooh, okay, so we have the Two of Cups. That is amazing. The Two of Cups is partnership. So it's like giving back, giving back to the people who you love. I feel like this is partner, best friend, someone super duper close to you. Like someone has done something for you this year that you're like, I love you so much and, oh God. It just made me think of Peter when I pulled this card because he has done so much for me this year to even get me to the stage to do coaching. I was just crying about it this morning. It's crazy that one friggin' card can trigger you. And it's like someone has believed in you in times where you didn't believe in yourself. Someone has given their time. They have cooked meals. They've cleaned your flipping house. They've done the grocery shopping for you. They've saved you that seat on the bus. They've sent you a beautiful letter just to be like, I'm thinking of you. I love you. And I know you're going through a tough time, but I know that this is where you need to be because it's preparing you for what you want. Whoa, the two of cups. So this is giving back to someone who's truly helped you out. I think the more spiritual I get, the more I become more emotional. I don't know if you guys have watched that documentary on Netflix called Highly Sensitive People or something. That's me. All right, Tuesday, angels. What do we need to know? Okay. Ooh, okay, now we have the Ten of Pentacles. Whoa. Holy smokes. Okay, so it's like you have really received a lot of abundance and you have a lot to give. And it's like you, I feel like you are at a different position than you've been before to give back. Like maybe you only 
excuse me, maybe you could only give your time before, but now you're like, I can buy you that special thing. I can take you out to dinner. I can buy you your coffee. You know, maybe they were always buying you the coffee or maybe they were always doing something for you. But I feel like now you've got a different level of abundance. Maybe you didn't want to invite them over to your house before because you were too embarrassed. And now you're like, please come to look at my beautiful, humble abode. You know, it's like you're at a place where you're like, I feel so content. I feel so grounded. I feel so thankful and I want to give as much as I possibly can. And I feel like the other person isn't going to, <clears throat> is going to not expect it, but I feel like they're really go. It's good. Okay. <clears throat> I feel like it's going to be, some of you may not be able to get the words out, but maybe you can write it in a card. Maybe you can send someone that text to let them know, like, I just wanted to say thank you so much. This is like coming from a place of love, but it's like speaking, speaking words of wisdom. Let it be, let it be, let it be. I feel like this is to do with the throat chakra. I feel like this is using your communication to however you show love. I don't know. Have you watched my video, the five love languages? What is that person's love language? How do you give love? How do they receive love? But I feel like this is like words of affirmation. I think this is words of affirmation and, and, and um, uh, what is it, G physical gifts or something. But I feel like it's giving them something, but then it's also like saying thank you. Have, uh, maybe some of you haven't told them how much it's actually helped you. Whoa, that got pretty deep, didn't it? Welcome to Weekly Angel Guidance. <laughs> All right, Wednesday, the balsamic moon. What do we need to know, angels? I don't feel like it's as prominent now. So maybe it's just the last quarter we're having a bit. It's like if your voice shakes, it's okay to cry, you know? Um, Wednesday, Balsamic Moon. What do we need to know, angels? One card for my beautiful MKL fan. Oh, no. You got two. Da -na -na -na. Da -na -da. Whoa! Holy smokes! Why am I seeing a holy smokes? What have I watched that's triggered that? Okay, so we have two cards for Wednesday. Oh, I don't even have words for this. My goodness. Okay, so we have the star card. The star is like... And I heard that song. I'm walking on sunshine. Whoa! And it's time to feel good. Hey, all right. Now it's time to feel good. It's like you're walking on sunshine for the fact that like you followed your intuition. I see the star as like the intuition. I see it's like the that that north star, something that's guiding you to where you need to go. You've overcome the obstacles. You have followed your intuition. You have done things that are so flipping out of your comfort zone, but you're like getting to the stage now where you're reflecting and you're like, I friggin' did it. Like I ended 29, 2018 off. This is the balsamic moon. Oh, I suppose we're reflecting on what happened at the end. Okay, that makes sense. So yeah, this is like you ended 2018 on the right note. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, it was turbulent. You found somebody to help you get to where you want to go. However, that looks like for you, like for my beautiful dream clients who have booked in, who'll be standing with me soon. You know, they got to the point where they're like, I can't do this by myself. I tried, I've been struggling for years. Mel, I need help. And they invested in themselves. Whoa, okay. So this is like getting to a place you're like, I, I found some relief. I took, I took a step that I hadn't taken before and it's gonna get me to where I'm going, where I want to go and I can see things slowly changing. Yeah. And then I heard that song that we heard last week. When will my reflection show who I am inside? And I'm seeing, I feel like you're seeing glimpses. You're seeing glimpses. And, oh my gosh. And it's like, I'm hearing all the same songs from last week. He had it coming. He only had himself to blame. If you'd have been there, you would have done, done. 
I bet you, you would have done the same. And then we have the Knight of Swords. So it's like you're moving past conflict. You're, um, and then I heard taking care of business every day. Taking care of business. You took care of business. You, you the Swords is like, you know, the, the negativity that comes up, the contrast, we welcome it because it makes us stronger. And you're reflecting and going, okay, you know all of that bullshit that I went through? It had to happen. It had to happen. You had it coming. You know, it had to happen for a reason. Either you weren't making, you weren't taking the actions to resolve things. So the universe is like, well, I'm going to give you um, a Mars retrograde and a Venus retrograde and there was something else that was retrograde and I'm going to show you what you have missed. So I feel like Wednesday is a beautiful time to reflect on how far you have come. You have achieved something major because the star is a major arcana, a major shift in events. Wow, that is beautiful. Okay, let's go on to Thursday. What do we need to know for Thursday? One card for Thursday. Okay, so, who? Okay, we have the Two of Swords. I feel like this is reflecting on what we were kind of talking about before with the Knight of Swords. The Two of Swords is like not seeing love. Like there was times in the last month where you didn't see love. The fear came in, the doubt come in, other people's expectations of you um, interfered. And there was a little moment where you lapsed and you're like, I don't know if I actually can do it. Oh, I'm so friggin' scared. Like, let me tell you how scared I was to press send to all of you beautiful souls that are on my mailing list to be like, guys, applications are open. And I was like, ah! And then when it went live and I was like, holy shit, I made a mistake with the funnel. Everyone went on the wrong side. And I had to manually move you guys as you flooded in. I was like, holy heck, I think I need to hire someone who knows how to fix this. But then my uncle Kevin, my late uncle Kevin, disappeared in my hallway wearing the same clothes he wore when he was alive and he just stood outside my door, which gives me goosebumps talking about him because I didn't feel like I was ever close to him when I was little and he never lived close to us. And he's come to me twice and I, it was like, he's like, it's, a, it's like, I just felt calm. It's like, he's going to help me. And then all of a sudden it popped into my head was like, you, you missed one button, Mel. You didn't turn on one button. And if you guys are into technology and know about zaps, I didn't have a zap turned on and then I just had to fix it and then everything was fixed. Um, yeah. So it's, I feel like this is like the self doubt when you were like, it, it, am I on the right track? It's like that doubt, but it's like that has to come up. And I feel like this was a test. How bad do you want this? How bad do you want it? Are you going to give up in the first little hurdle? Because there's going to be hurdles and hurdles. It's like, how strong is your why to get you to where you want to go? I feel like I need to hurry up. All right. Uh, Friday, please sit down on the balsamic moon. So I think you should just be really proud of yourself and everything that you have accomplished because it's been a really beautiful year. It's been a really beautiful month. You're finishing on the right foot. And if you feel like you're not, if you feel like you haven't been following your intuition and life's too hectic, please, please book in um, and get my free exclusive training. And then if you feel that you would like to take it further, then um, start the application for a private healing strategy session. And if you're approved, I'll chat with you. And if not, it's, if it's not an energetic match, then try again at another time. You know, you just have to do whatever you can within your means to help to get you to where you want. Whoa. Okay. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Wow. The judgment. The judgment, I feel like there was a lot of judgment that came up. And I mentioned this kind of like on Wednesday with like the contrast of like other people's perceived ideas about you. And it's kind of like the, how do I say this in a nice way? I'm just going to say it. It's kind of like the F you to them to be like, I knew I could always do it. It just wasn't on your timeline. And this is where I'm meant to be. And I'm always going to remember those people who doubted me when I was at my worst because you do not deserve me at my best.
this is like you judging yourself, but I feel like don't be so hard on yourself for everything that has happened. This is another shift. This is another major shift with you. Maybe you got to a stage where you were like, you release that judgment. You release that like, oh my gosh, if I don't get it done by this time, I'm such a failure. If I don't lose 10 kilos, my husband will never love me. It's like, are you serious? Because I feel like this is all about like enjoying the journey. Truly appreciating every moment because the moment you get to where you want to, you'll be like, okay, I've done it. Maybe you don't like it, maybe you do. And then you'll just set another goal. So it's like, I feel like you have to enjoy the journey. The judgment's gonna come up. You have to deal with it. It's like you have to have that self-love armor put onto you. Like Demi Lovato said last week in Warrior. Now I got thicker skin, I'm a warrior. I'm stronger than I've ever been And my armor is made of steel You can't get in, I'm a warrior And you can never hurt me again That's what that card is. Okay, so that's Friday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So Friday was like that armor. People were saying horrible things to you and you're like, he had it coming. Karma's gonna get his little butt. <laughs> I just made that up, by the way, that last bit. Yeah, this is your armor. You're like, okay, you think that I'm gonna stick around and put up with your shit? No, nope, I'm not. Okay. Um, Saturday? This card just fell out. I didn't tell it to, but I was kind of shuffling in preparation, but it was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Saturday with the Ten of Swords. This is the end. Hold your breath and count to ten. Feel the earth moving. Let the sky fall. Yeah, it's like you had to watch the sky fall. You had to let it crumble because, you know, when things... When things happen that you're like, it's happening for a reason. And in everything that happens to you, there's always a silver lining. There is always something that your angels are trying to communicate to you. So when those things happened, or this is in the balsamic mood, so this, when this did happen, you know, this really shook your world. And you're like, how am I going to get out of bed? Like, how am I even going to go to the shops? to buy groceries to feed myself when I can't get out of my pajamas because I'm in level 22 of the emotional guidance scale in depression, you know? And it's like, sometimes you have to go through that. I'm just trying to see what else I miss with that card. And then I just looked over to the side of the room and there's a bag hanging up, but the, the material was all crumpled and I just saw keep going. The word actually on the bag it says keep growing, but the letters are behind. So look, it says keep going, keep going, keep going. You know, don't let this define you. This happened for a reason. Say thank you and then move on. All right. <clears throat> well, that card fell out. Um, now we're going on to Sunday, which is the partial solar eclipse in 15 degrees of Capricorn. Now keep in mind that this is based on Australian time. So just, just this could be your Saturday, you know. Whoa, okay, five of wands, five, massive shift. Five is like, every time I see five, 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 I get a brand new client. <laughs> um, five is like massive change, massive shift. So this is like dealing with contrast and propelling yourself forward, not allowing whatever little bumps come up in this new chapter, starting on whatever time I said for you, either Saturday, Saturday or Sunday. So whenever this... I just really want you to have a look at which area of your chart is Capricorn in based on your sun, moon and rising. If you don't know the time that you were born, then what is your star sign or your sun sign? Um, please look at that so you can work out which area do you need to be mindful of when this contrast is going to be coming up. I want more for this one. More for Sunday, the partial solar eclipse, angels. Clarity on the five of wands for my MKL fam. Just one, just one more, please. Okay, thanks. 
Holy shipples. We got the King of Swords. <laughs> the King of Swords is like, you have come to a completion. You have been through all the bullshit. You have been put through hell. And now you are starting off on the right foot. You are strong. You are masculine. You aren't going to like allow negativity to penetrate into your consciousness. It's kind of like like the Demi Lovato song when we got the judgment card. It was like, now I got thicker skin. I'm a warrior. I'm stronger than I've ever been. And my armor is made of steel. It's like you have that steel. And you can never hurt me again. That's crazy. I've never had a theme song over two weeks, but I still feel that warrior is it was within you. Maybe it's it was prepping us for this eclipse season. That's interesting. The King of Swords, it's like you've been through it all and you've come out the other side. Whoa, guys, that is huge. The King. <laughs> and then I saw a flash from uh, Mrs. No, Mrs. Doubtfire. Yeah, Mrs. Doubtfire when Robin Williams is in the set playing with the dinosaurs. He's like, I'm a, uh, I'm a T Rex doing what I can. Da, 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 da. Yo, 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 I'm living. I don't know. The, I'm living beyond the soil. Dum, bum, bum, but I'm coming as oil. I don't know. I see, I see it as like. I don't know why I, I heard that. I'm a T Rex doing what I can. I don't know what that reference means. If I find the clip, I'll link it below. Otherwise, I'll get flagged for copyright for putting it in my video. But it's like you're doing what you can to get to where you want to. Please prep your mind for success. Do your self-love practices in the morning and the night. It will help you deal with this contract contrast. Please take Wednesday to Saturday off. If you're in Australia, or this will probably be like your Tuesday evening to... Friday for anyone who lives in the Northern Hemisphere, please look after yourself. That's all I'm trying to say. Please look after yourself. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching. I'm not going to give you a card of the week. I don't feel like I need to this week. And know that what is happening towards the end of the week is laying the foundations for 2019. So this is going to be absolutely massive. So where do you want to be in six months time? Do you still want to be struggling in this relationship with someone who treats you like a like a second option? Do you want to be, you know, working at this job that you've hated for so such a long time? Like, where do you want to be? You need to really think about this. You have to make it a priority. So on the weekend, so after you've taken your time off during the week to, you know, if you're, if you're working, go to bed early, sleep in a little bit, whatever you need to do to make that work, please do that. And I really want you to prioritize, where do you want to be? Where do you want to be in six months? Work out a plan to get you there. So right, like I am so happy and grateful now that by the end of June, I have accomplished this and then work backwards month by month to plan out how exactly you're going to get there. I've told you this so many times. I've written it in the free exclusive training on how to heal your childhood traumas. And I've spoken about it last week in Weekly Angel Guidance and somebody private messaged me on Instagram about this too. I, I always say, if you fail to plan, you're basically setting yourself up for, for failure. So please really take Sunday serious. I really want you to take Sunday serious and literally plan out where do you want to be in six months? If you're struggling, you're like, I don't even know how to think that far ahead. Please look at my free exclusive training. And then if you would love to um, have a one-on-one -on -one call with me, please do that. You know, I'm, I've got literally three days left. Three days, I've got Monday, Tuesday. When's the balsamic moon? Wednesday. Whoa, I only have Monday and Tuesday available and this video is out on Monday. So those, those positions are gonna snap up quickly. And yeah, oh my gosh. I think that's it. I think I've said everything I need to. I'm just sending you so much love and know that everything is working out for you. My main advice is for the eclipse season that if there's a divine intervention, just be like, okay, thank you. What do I need to know? Why is this happening? You know, um, 
Yeah, but also have a look at the links below and check out where is Capricorn in your chart so you can work out which area of your life to expect where these changes can take place. Any Aries out there? That's on your career, which is crazy because I didn't realize that until I looked at the astrology, um, which is crazy because my intuition told me, okay, December, you got to start finding the dream clients. January, you start. It just depends on which level you're tuned into. But if you need help, you know where to find me. The link's below and let me know what came out for you. Oh, by the way, if you're watching the live chat, thank you. Oh my goodness. And I'll tell you more about the eclipse next week um, because this is only coming through halfway through on Sunday in Australia, but for most of you that you may not even feel it yet, or maybe you have. I'm going to stop talking and leave you there. Anyways, my love, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're new to the fam, subscribe. If you like this video and it gave you some value, please give me the thumbs up um, and comment below what are your intentions for this next six months. Like, I'm so happy and grateful now that dot, dot, dot. What's your dot, dot, dot? <laughs> Anyways, I will see you next week. Have an amazing week. Happy New Year, and I will talk to you soon. Goodbye. <laughs>